Hello, today I would like to show you one of the biggest portable flashlight, aka spotlight, that we are using for search and rescue operation. This is the device that we are talking about. But to give you a size compare, I grab a Streamlight Vulcan standard issue firefighter flashlight. So you've got some point of reference. And as you can see, the, the Vulcan looks like a toy. If you, if you compare the size, here is the reflector. And let me just touch the reflector on top. You can see how bigger the surface area is on the new one. And it is an absolutely crazy big device. But at the same time, it is a very simple and very nice unit. And I'm going to show you the main feature. So as you can see, it was pretty beat up. It was used a lot. And it have a problem that I'm going to tell you about. The biggest problem of this device is that it does not have a auto off feature that is going to prevent the battery from being discharged. It's using standard 7 amp hour SLA battery and that's going to be one of the best feature of this device and I'm going to show you how quickly you can change the battery. And to be honest, you can do that in field. So if you've got this device in car, you can have a multiple battery like this, and you can just put a new one, fully charged and continue to use the device. But the other very important feature is that it's using standard double filament car valve. This is uh, very important because some of the spotlight are using xenon light that hid high intensity discharge and they are pretty complicated. They are pretty expensive. They using all the ballast circuitry. This is old bulb, very simple, very cheap to replace. We've got a uh, our our glass being protected by this rubber rubber shield then we can remove and we've got a screw you can undo those screw and you can just uh, replace this bulb i believe it's called a h4 since it's using a standard car bulb they've got a very good like a shaking impact resistance because you, when you've got a car car is driving via all the bumps so those bulbs are in general designed to withstand some shock and some abuse so it's working perfectly i never had to replace the bulb but if you need then there is a absolutely a way to do it here on the side you've got uh, two power switches there is absolutely no electronic no driving you just swapping the the filament either a low beam or a high beam they are saying it's got a 10 million candle which is a uh, quite weird scale in general the measurement i'm doing in the lux so i don't know how to put it into perspective this is the stand that you can adjust in two places so you can undo those two screw And you can adjust it like this. 
that you can put it a little bit higher. As you can see, now it's standing higher, but we can go and point it downward. So as you can see, you've got a different option to get the perfect reach for your application. And this is the another great thing. This is the company who's made them. Here we've got the charging port and it is a very good light because you can recharge it using a wall charger but you can also plug it to the car battery installation and this port is straight connecting to the battery terminals. This is very good because you can, from technical point of view, swap the built-in battery for a lithium ferrite, the LEFA, that they are selling with a standard form factor, and you can use that port for recharging it without removing. How to swap the battery? It is a absolutely breeze. We've got uh, two hatches that you have to just pull like this and you undo the latch. Let me show you better. Like this. And you open the back. And this is a standard SLA battery. We've got the terminals. We remove those terminals. And we've got our battery. I'm wondering is there is anywhere a date code, maybe on top, where it was manufactured. I've got no idea. And this is the content. So we've got very nice shielded place. And here I'm going to grab a new battery. Let me hook it up and let's take a look what's the current drone from the battery so we can estimate how long does it going to be lasting. The 2 amp is definitely not enough. I'm going to a 20 range. I'm going to go to the DC. I'm going 0 microamp meter and I'm going to grab our wire. And I'm going to start the lamp. And it is glowing. This is the low power mode, which is the still quite bright. And we can see that we've got four and a uh, four and a two amp, which with our seven amp hour battery from technical point of view should give us slightly less than two hour, but from like real use, that's going to be like a one hour, maybe 20 minute, maybe less because the seven amp hour capacity is rated at the 20 amp hour discharge time. And we are going almost, uh, almost half of the capacity. So yeah, it is quite powerful. Let's go into the high beam and we've got the same deal. We've got 0 0.6 amp, which in compared to 7 amp hour should give us a slightly more than a one hour. But I would estimate this like a 40, maybe 50 minutes of work with uh, this battery. And this is how you lock it in place. You pull the tab and it go very nicely, very smooth. And let's try to power it on once again to see 
the full power. This is high beam. This is the low beam. This is the battery charger that I'm using. This is not a genuine one. This is a generic battery charger and it have it is absolutely great charger that's because it's using a float voltage 13.8 volt and you can leave it all the time being fully charged using the second port that is uh, directly tied to the battery you can have it all the time plug in always ready for action without any overcharging problems just for fun let's shine the light on my desk you can see how bright it is keep in mind that i've got my lamp that i use for recording and even with them we are going over the exposure and let me power the vulcan and this is how they do compare. This is not a scientific test, but it's just showing you how much light that flashlight is producing. So absolutely great option as a spotlight and a handheld solution. By the way, you've got a hook here and there. So if you want to take it out from a car, you can go and have it on your arm. As you can see, we've got a good fix. Lamp is shining very bright. It's going to be put back into the service. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.